welcome to the world of and I'm going to show you a mixture of uh, plant food and food insect repellent stuff now this is all basically natural stuff it's cheaper it's good for the environment it's good for your family but first of all we're gonna start with food guess what a can of beer <laughs> now I do about eight ounces I pour into it now if you want to pour a little more you want to do the whole can of beer you can but I usually do about eight ounces on it so you know so that way you know what save all your beer if you've got some beer left over, just save it. I'm going to let that kind of sit down a little bit. Let it settle. And then your next one, now some of them use Coca-Cola products. I like using an energy grain, but make sure it's not diet. The reason I use the energy grain is I like getting the extra vitamins that's in it to benefit. Got a lot of fizz on that beer tonight. I should have let it go flat, and I didn't do that. So that's, you know, my fault right there. So you figure eight ounces of each. That's, you got around 16 ounces right there. Now since I only got a little bit of left, I'm going to go ahead and just pour what's left in there. No, little extra ain't going to hurt. Now, so you got to benefit of these two here to feed your plants with. And it's up to you on if you want to use any kind of plant food or fertilizer. Now this here is a two-gallon jug. I put two ounces of plant, all-purpose plant food in here. So that's about that's about right right there. And then I'll put about two ounces of my fish fertilizer. Like I said, you can use worm tea, you can use compost tea, you can use whatever you want to use. So that's about two two ounces of each. Now that's here is gonna feed my plants and I guarantee you this fish stuff stinks. Okay. And then your next step is getting the insects gone, getting rid of them. One thing is of course your dishwashing liquid. The benefits of dishwashing liquid when it gets on the insects it causes a coat and it causes their skin to dry out. Now since I've got two gallons I want to put a little bit more in there so I can get a good soak and feel for it. Another thing insects don't like, caffeine. So I usually put about a good couple of teaspoons full in there. Or if you know, make, if you drink coffee a lot and you got a pot of coffee made, pour you a cup of coffee in there. Works the same way. And guess what? Red pepper. They don't like red pepper either. Now this is a new one here. I haven't opened this one up yet. So I just take about about that much and I put red pepper in it. Helps repels the insects. I don't care for that. And then last but not least, mouthwash. Yum yum. Mouthwash, the one you need to get is the yellow kind. It don't matter what brand as long as it's yellow. There's a certain ingredient in the yellow mouthwash that's not in the others that makes them not happy at all. So I usually pour in about eight ounces to uh, my ingredients there. So now, so here we go. We got all our ingredients, we got our plant food, we got our plant repelling. And if you want to add a little more beer to it, make it a little stronger, I think I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with the rest of this beer. Give my plant some extra nutrients in it. It's not gonna hurt it if that's what you'd rather do. Get some action, you know, you're making your plants grump. Now, another thing I do, when I put my water in here, I use rain water. I don't use city water. If you do use city water, I suggest that you set a bucket up or a jug up, let it set for a couple of days to get rid of some of the processes and stuff that's done in city water. So, here I am, all done, cheap. You got your can of beer you put in here, you got your energy grape, you've got your caffeine in here, you got your red pepper, your dishwashing liquid, your mouthwash, all this I made, and it's going to not hurt. It's not going to hurt the plants. It's not going to hurt the environment. It's not going to hurt your children or your family. So here you go. And this here is a whole lot better than spinning out an arm and a leg on your plants. So from the world of Joan, be safe, be happy. Bless y'all.